time series analysis so here you have annual electricity spend what is the electricity spend in 2000 in 2001 in 2002 like that and if you fit a line what you realize that it's almost like a line kind of thing so what you can do if suppose you have to forecast for 2016 and 17 you can probably fit a line and you can extend it right and you can say because in the past it has happened like this in 16 and 17 you expect electricity spend to happen almost like this amount so what is here if you think of there is only two, one field annual electricity spend along with the time that okay in 2000 how much it was in 2001 how much it was like that and what you did you and also you don't have many things I mean if you think of the electricity spent can also depend on what was the ice fall in that particular region what was the population size in that particular region but you are you don't know these things what you know is the annual electricity spent in these areas in in a particular area year over year so you have these details now you are what you are doing you are just discovering the pattern and you are extending it you discovered a pattern that this is how it is going per year so you expect if everything remains same this is how it should happen in 16 and 17 15 and six, 16 and 17 right that's an example of time series forecasting you have data which is on the time series you just use that to forecast in the future at times you will have some x also let me show you let me show you what is simple linear regression analysis so in case of simple linear regression I mean let's just take a look at a specific very simple example you have height and you have weight what you can see when the height increased the weight also increased right when height was 56 weight was 84 when height increased to 69 weight increased to 112 and when height decreases I mean think of 63 102 57 83 so when height decreases weight decreases when height increases weight increases if you try to plot it you see there is a clear cut you can see there is a clear cut trend kind of thing so essentially you can set a relationship what is happening here what is happening in case of simple linear relationship you have two numeric variable this is numeric this is numeric and you have discovered that there is a pattern in the data when this increases this is increasing it could have happened other way also you could have pattern like where increase in the value of x probably if you call it x the value of y either is increasing like this case or decreasing in both the cases there is a pattern and how will you discover that equation that pattern that pattern is usually discovered using the ordinary least square method ordinary least square method gives you this equation the line that can probably give the best fit for all these pattern and the equation will take a shape like y equal to a plus b1 x1 where b1 is the slope and x1 is the value of this particular variable a is the intercept where it is cutting the y-axis that's an example of simple linear regression similarly if you think of what is multiple linear regression it is actually nothing but just the extension of linear simple linear regression again there is a pattern the mileage of the car is depending on what is the headroom what is the trunk space what is the weight what is the length all those things so what is the difference here the difference here is that your dependent numeric variable it's linked with a combination of independent variables in the simple linear regression you had just two variables one to one that's why you called it simple in case of multiple you have multiple independent variable and one dependent variable so that's why you call it multiple linear regression again you will find a pattern that okay when there is a relationship kind of thing that you will find what is happening here increase in the values of axis right can increase or decrease value of y 
if b1 is positive it will increase if b1 is negative it will decrease right so again what you have discovered you have discovered a pattern in the data based on certain combinations of these independent variable you discovered a relationship with the dependent variable and once you have that this relationship the moment you know these things you can easily forecast about the outcome variable so again you started with end in mind that your purpose is to find mileage quickly the moment you know these independent variables let me explain you logistic regression logistic regression technique is also known as credit scoring again it is nothing but the regression but there is one difference the difference is that this time your dependent variable is taking value 0 and 1 or n and y or resp non responder responder in both in all these cases if you think of what is happening your outcome variable is binary and it is correlated with a combination of other input variables outcome variable can take probably value like yn responder and responder all those things but in all these cases you can consider one category probably responder as one non responder as zero y as one and as zero so everything remaining same only thing is that this outcome variable is not a numeric variable it's a categorical variable 0 1 so how do you discover in this time you discover this relationship using logistic regression the changes in the value of x and y will change in the frequency of 0 and 1 again you need to keep in mind for all the values of this you will have some 0 you will have some 1 and what is the example of this 0 and 1 I mean if you think of you gave loan to let's say 1 million people somebody became defaulter and somebody paid you back you can say defaulter as one risky population zero as non-risky population another example let's say you gave your offer to 100,000 people but only some 600 people accepted your offer now all those who accepted your offer or responded to your offer are your one responder otherwise zero so this kind of thing this is an example of a scenario which requires logistic regression where your dependent variable is not numeric it's categorical either he has defaulted or not either he has responded or not and in this case what you need to understand you'll always have 0 and 1 for all the all the levels whatever is the value of independent variables you will always have 0 and 1 the only thing is that at some times you will have probably 80 percent of the data taking value 0 and at times you will have probably 60 percent of the data taking value 0 so what is happening here change in values of x is changing the frequency of 0 1 at times you will have more 1 at times you will have more 0 but in all levels you will have both 0 and 1 so if you think of in this scenario what is changing is just the odds odds is nothing but p by 1 minus p the odds p is, p is like if you describe p as say probability of 1 then probability of 1 by probability of 0 is nothing but the odds and that changes when the value of these axes changes and that's why logistic regression equation is shown like this where this is nothing but odds and the log of odds is related with these input variables that's the equation of logistic regression and that's the scenario where you apply logistic regression so in one line you apply logistic regression when your dependent variable is categorical in nature 0 1 kind of not a numeric variable so that's example of logistic regression now let me explain you classification tree so what is a classification tree actually this data is nothing but similar to what you have for logistic regression your dependent variable is taking value y n in fact all those scenario where you can apply logistic you can easily apply classification tree also 
so you have the de binary dependent variable and changes in these values here like I've just not shown all of them changes in these values are changing the frequency of y or n or the frequency of 0 and 1 so at some particular value you'll have more y at some particular value you have more n so the odds of outcome is changing now what classification tree does it's like just another set of technique but it represents its analysis in a tree format so it is showing if checking account is more than 1.5 the probability of y is actually 87 percent if it is less than 1.5 and the duration is also less than 22.5 the probability of y is actually 65 percent you see the red gray area is more red black area is more when duration is more than 22 and saving accounts value is less than greater than 2.5 the probability of y is actually 71 percent and when saving account is less than 2.5 for all these combination where chk account is less than 1.5 duration is more than 22.5 your y is only 37 percent so if you think of what has changed the odds have changed the percentage of time you will get y or n has changed and this representation looks like a tree that's why you call it classification tree again what it it is it is nothing but a pattern right it is nothing but a just it a pattern a re repeatable thing and that's why you can use it for forecast if, at a later stage if you know about anyone who's checking account is let's say 1.25 you know he is here and his duration is greater than say 30 you know he is here and moment you know his saving account is actually 4 you know he is here and you can say for this kind of guy the chance of him getting y is 71 percent that's why it is called classification tree so I hope what you understood is analytics it's nothing but pattern recognition applicable to a specific purpose.